Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you the basics of using formulas and functions in numbers. So I'm using Numbers version 3 here. We're going to look at some of the basics here of using functions and formulas. So I'm just going to open up the simplest blank template and it's going to give me a single spreadsheet with a single table in it. And you can put values in these cells. So let's say put 2 and 7 in here. Now the basic idea of a formula is you can perform operations like for instance adding these two together. So in order to start a formula instead of typing a number, if I want to type say the number 20 in here I would just type 20 but instead I'm going to hit the equals key on my keyboard which tells numbers that I want to enter a formula and you can see it comes up with a little special interface there for entering a formula in. And now I can type in the names of the cells if I want to. So I could say B2 and then I could hit a plus symbol for adding them two to, together in C2. And you could see when I hit return it's going to give me the result. Now if I hover over this one you can see at the bottom here I've got formula B2 plus C2. An easier way to do this is, let me delete that, is I start typing equals and then I actually click rather than type B2. So I click on B2 and then I hit plus and then I click on C2 I hit return and I get the same result. And I don't have to type it in and figure out the name of the individual cells. Now I can get really complex with these formulas. So let me delete that one here and put in another number and another number. And then in here I could uh, use parentheses and say uh, this plus this. And then I could close the parentheses and add this and say divide it by this. And you can see I've created a pretty complex formula there and I get the answer. Now the cool thing about formulas is they update automatically. So if I change this 2 to a 3 you can see this change. I change the 6 to an 8 and you can see it also changed. It's always going to be the result of this and if I change these values then the results of this will change and it will automatically update to reflect that. So that's using simple math but you can go further than simple math. Let's delete this here. And let's hit equals again, but instead of using uh, just basic things like plus and multiply, we will go and click on the function thing up here and we get several different functions like say let's do minimum. And the minimum function is going to take a range of values. So to give it a range of values I could just select the range like that and you can see it fills it in with B2 colon E2 telling me it's this range. And when I hit return, I could see there it gives me the answer of 3. 3 is the minimum value here. If I were to change this to say 13, the answer is 4 because now this one's the minimum value here. So you can see how I use this minimum function to perform an operation on this stuff. So I don't have to just use basic math, I can also use functions. Now you may have also noticed that when I double clicked in here, I brought up this function browser on the right. And this gives me a list of all the functions available at numbers, and there are a ton of them. So many that they have to break them up into categories. So for instance, I can look at statistical functions, I could look at functions that deal with logic, um, I can look at functions that deal with numbers. Um, so for instance, if I wanted to figure out uh, say, you know, the square root or something like that, I've got it all in here. And I could easily search for the function as well. So I wanted to see all the functions that have to do with average. I start typing average and I can see there's a bunch of different ones. If I want to find out what any of these means and an example of how to use them, I simply select it from the list and I can look down here below and I could see a description of it and some examples of how to use that function. Now a lot of formulas take a range of values. For instance, sum. I can do equals sum and I can take a range like that, B2 to E2. I can also say get the sum of an entire column. So I just click on top here and C and you can see it just puts C there and it shows me exactly what it's going to do. It's going to do the sum of that which is only one number in there but if I were to add another one you can see it automatically updates. And likewise you could do the sum of a row like that and it will work just the same and it will show you what it's going to take the sum of. Notice header and footer cells are not included when you want to use the range of an entire row or a column. And one more thing you should know about formulas is they copy and paste really well. So let's say I have a second row 
of numbers. And I create a formula here which is going to give me the sum of these. So you can see this is sum of B2 to E2. If I were to copy this, let me uh, just select the cell just once, copy it, paste it, I get a formula that's not the sum of B2 to E2 but the sum of B3 to E3. It, know, it recognizes that I copied from F2 and I put it into F3. I moved it down one so it moved the numbers in the formula down by one. So that makes it very easy to copy and paste. As a matter of fact if I had a ton of random numbers in here um, like that I could simply select, select it once and selected this range here and pasted that same formula across all of these. And it's smart enough to know that this one should be B4, E4, B5, E5, etc. all the way down.